Hey guys, I wanted to share an update that I made to my 3BSM design after last week's transition test flights shown here. This is the second flight, and on the inbound transition, some of you may have noticed the duct rotating a little bit out of plane and causing a left yaw kick. Uh, let's slow down this clip a little bit and look closer. Uh, you can see that section 2 is getting hung up, uh, so the duct is becoming non-straight, and then a little after it kind of catches itself, uh, stabilizes the aircraft, and I was able to land normally. What I decided to do to prevent this was to change the way the flanges interact with each other on the joint that was sticking. Uh, I already did something similar on the yaw joint early on uh, when that was being a little bit slow to respond to uh, motor rotation requests and uh, causing some yaw control problems back before I put the wings in the test frame and all of that. Uh, but the original design had the flanges for the duct sections butting right against each other. And then it was uh, bearings on the inside of the ring gears that would kind of ride on the backside of the flanges that would keep everything in place. And that works really well if all of the load on these sections is kind of pulling the duct apart so that the bearings are the load bearing surfaces. But what happens when this thing is rotated to the vertical flight condition is that uh, you have a torque that's that's acting around the flange rather than just a force that's pushing or pulling straight. So you end up needing to support the flanges with a reduced friction method like bearings on both the tension and compression sides of the flanges. And what that means is that uh, the second section, especially where the 45 degree flow direction change happens, uh, was was rubbing on the top side of the flanges and that plastic really has too much friction in that situation for the motors to overcome. So you can see in the SolidWorks clip here that I'm adding some pockets for more ball bearings to interact with the face of the flange so that now I'll have ball bearing support on the inside and the outside of that mate. Uh, so you can see here in the assembly, I'm, I'm adding those parts and just seeing what they'll look like when I build the part in real life. Um, I'll grab a freeze frame here with the gear pulled out, and there we go. So hopefully you can see that and kind of envision how that's going to uh, interact with the assembly and uh, help prevent these sticky motion issues. Uh, right now it's only in the first and the second section, but I'll probably add it to the third section as well for kind of a final version of the 3BSM. So anyways, uh, I did go and print a new part and fit it on the 3BSM. So let's take a look at some flight footage and see how it did in the air. So coming up on the inbound transition here, uh, take a look. No heading change, no altitude change, uh, by far the best inbound transition we've had. Uh, so really excited, uh, happy with the changes that those new bearings have added to the reliability of the 3BSM, and uh, looking forward to getting some more flights in.
I did a second flight as well, and the significance of this one is that instead of transitioning from fixed wing into stabilize or altitude hold, I'm going to transition into loiter flight mode, which is going to try to hold position as well. So let's take a look at how that went. Again, pretty good. And one of the cool aspects of the position controller when you're in loiter mode is you can see the 3BSM moving forward and backwards just a little bit. Uh, it's producing some forward thrust in order to counter the wind that was pretty strong uh, instead of pitching the vehicle to counteract that. And yeah, as you can see, it was super breezy. Uh, the vehicle was bouncing around pretty heavily, and I'm actually really happy with how it was able to handle this. Uh, this is about as much wind as I would ever want to be able to fly this thing in. It's still not 100% tuned, and it handled it pretty well. Anyways, thanks for watching this little update. I hope you guys enjoy seeing even the small incremental improvements that I make to this design as testing progresses. And I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks again, and see you guys next time.